Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Thorium Mod. My oh my goodness, would you look at that weather outside today. Looking a little bit uh, dark and gloomy right now, middle of a blizzard, pitch black outside, and an encroaching army of enemy penguins outside my very gates. Well, you know what, actually I'm alright with the penguins. I don't have a problem with them, it's the bunnies that are the real menace. The penguins, they're on my side. Okay, the penguins always have been on my side. You know, they're out there protecting me. These are basically my uh, my turret defenses. I mean, think about it. Would you want to mess with that? But yeah, it's a little bit dark and gloomy outside. How's about we fix that? And there we go, just like that, we made the skies much calmer, and that's because I went back to the aquatic depths off camera. I've done it, I finally did it. I've been keeping a lot of the making immense amounts of progression off camera stuff to a minimum, because you know what? It makes the Let's Plays a little bit more interesting, because there's a lot more to it. At least I think. Makes them longer. See more of the step by step, you know what I'm saying? Feels more like an experience. I did go back to the Aquatic Depths to grab a few more things, because there were a few more items that I didn't get. I looked it up. Um, I also dealt with the Old Ones Army as well, because the Scuba Curva here... That makes wiping them out very easy, I gotta tell you. When all I gotta do is... And then just like that, the event's over. I mean, that's really it, the long and short of it. But yes, I went back to the aquatic depths, got myself this thing called a rainstone. This strange stone was torn from an entity that can control the seas. I don't exactly know who that was, but we're gonna find out in the lore probably eventually. Gonna hold on to that, of course. We got that out of the way. And as you'll see right here, I made myself the magic staff as well. Because I finally got the, what is it, I think pierce I needed the pearl for? One of these things I needed a pearl or something for, I don't remember. I think it was Freeze? No, one of them. I don't know. I needed gems for something, and I got a whole bunch of them from the Aquatic Depth. So I made this, got it up to Mythical. It is just like the other weapons that I've got. That It is incredibly cheap to reforge them. Like, the Goblin loves me. He's being very un-EA right now, and I'm very proud of him. He's restraining himself. Seems like in any other mod with any other items, the reforge cost for this stuff is like 30 platinum and as many fingers as you're willing to give. I know you'd like to not have broken on your sword, but if I'm really gonna upgrade it to at least annoying, I'm gonna need a few toes. I'm sorry. That's the price. But anyways, I got this thing upgraded, and you know what? I threw on a little bit extra mana there. I don't have a lot. I've been neglecting this because I've been a bard, and I haven't really needed mana for anything. But this seems really good, because that's a lot of debuffs that it can smack the bad guys with. So you know what? I feel like hitting them with this at least every once in a while, the bosses. Probably not going to be a bad thing for the rest of pre-hard mode. Might help me take down some of the bigger enemies as well, because we have a ways to go. Today is going to be the jungle. It's time for some rumbling down in the jungle, and you know what I'm saying. So, we're gonna be growing over there, growing over there, I didn't mean to say that, but it actually kind of works now that I've said that. Seeing what all kinds of good stuff I can get over there. I think I've got everything that I need to get from the aquatic depths. There was a few more accessories. Um, speaking of which, I found this thing. It's a mining charm. Literally make it out of silver or tungsten pickaxe and five thorium bars. So I got this. It might make moving around down there a little bit easier, so we're definitely gonna bring that along. And, uh, this was that other item that I was telling you about over there. I got a few more accessories from the Aquatic Depths. Little Sea Turtles Bulwark. A touchable note that recovers 25% of the damage you took, so there you go. I don't really know what that means by touchable note, but whatever. You know what? There we go. So we're gonna mosey our way on over to, uh, the underground jungle. It's gonna be a bit of a walk. It's alright that it's nighttime, because I do need to get some more Fallen Stars. Because I can do a lot with this stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this stuff right here. This, like, th there's stuff for Sky Islands that I could make, too. I didn't even realize it. An Alf Horn and, uh, Skyware loot. Might be a little bit too late for that stuff right now, but you know what? I want to get as much as I can, alright? And, you know, to do that, we're gonna grab a whole bunch of Fallen Stars on our way over there. And then hopefully we're gonna go over to the Underground Jungle and everything is going to be totally fine. And I'm not going to be murdered left, right, and center by every single thing that blinks and squats and burps and gurgles and whatever else sound that the mobs in this game make. Apparently sharks sound like that. Man, I really should have built a bed up over here or something. Could have had a nice easy respawn too. Oh well, whatever. I'm gonna need to make a house over here eventually anyway, so we'll get around to that. It looks like I kind of have an easier way in over this way, so if I can climb up here a little bit. Do I still have an amethyst hook? My god. Gotta upgrade my hook game. I'm starting to fall behind. Alright, this looks like a nice way in right here. Kind of looks like uh, the typical surface caves that I come across, but it's a little bit different. It's alright, no complaints. We'll go down this way. Um... Not one ounce of jungle grass on any of this stuff, which is very strange. I wonder if any of those bugs are valuable for anything. I'm curious. Let's find out. Got a buggy. 
Is that a material? It is, and I can make the usual with it. Okay, that's fine. What about grubbies? Pretty much the same thing. Okay, that's fine. Alrighty, but yeah, this is very weird. Not a whole lot of grass down here. It doesn't feel very jungly, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of a... Like a light jungle. It's kind of cool though. I like the setup. There aren't very many caves in the jungle that like lead me down to the bottom of it like these. Very different. Probably should grab as many of these petals and whatnot as I can. Well, anything that might be of value anyways. I don't really know what'll be of value because a lot of the stuff down here, like this is all, it's all kind of new. It's a new mod we've never played before. So everything is useful as of right now. At least until I pick it up and find out otherwise. Alrighty, let's mosey on around a little bit down here. See what we can find. So far I've found nothing but bees and pain. I mean, that's about it. I, is there really anything else to the jungle? I mean, let's be honest. Bees and pain. That's the long and short of it. You know, I'm wondering if the scuba curva here might not actually be a bad weapon to use against the queen bee, especially for the charge phases. Like whenever she just comes at me and I hit her with the old... I mean, look at that. I'm hitting her with SpongeBob's horn. I mean, let's be honest here. His alarm clock. She certainly will not be expecting that. Alrighty, so far so good. What was that? That looks a little bit different. What was that thing? Ah, God, what are you? Strange bulb. Get out of here. Give me some petals. Hey, there's a granite biome. I know I'm gonna need those for a boss later on here. Looks like it's like slapped right dead center too. Is it just me or are there a lot of like granite caves that spawn inside of the jungle? What is that thing? Flying biomass. Carnivorous foliage. I suppose you could say. That's the actual sciency name for it. Ah, God. Try to get me again, are you? Trying to shoot me. Oh, yeah? Well, take, check out my scuba cuerva, curva. Cuerva? Curva. I think that's the one. Oh, there's the golem. There he is. Let's hit him with the scuba. There we go. Just like that. That is so satisfying. What about you? Are you valuable? No. Is the night vision helmet ever good? Like, is there anybody out there that's exploring in the underground? I got a nymph. Does that happen a lot? I bet you run into nymphs all the time. Just gotta hit him with the old scuba curva. Ah, God. You know, those things still hit so hard even though I'm wearing post-evil boss armor. I mean, I guess Bard doesn't really have that much in the way of defense. It's not like it's melee or anything, but still. It's a lot of stuff here, all right? Ooh, what is that? Vanquisher metal. I get them from that, too? Gonna have to go back and check out the old, uh, whatever his name is. The Tracker, I think. I think that's who that was. Oh, there's another flying biomass. What are you? Army ant. I'm bumping into all kinds of mobs down here. Hit him with the scuba curva. I love this. I did not think that this weapon would be this useful, but like, it does an enormous amount of damage. I mean, at least, you know, for the stage of the game that I'm at. It was really easy to come by, and it mops the floor with next to everything. Like, that's, that's the thing. You can't aim the weapon, but if you fire it, eventually something will die. Ah, what is that thing, hag? What are we, in Minecraft now? Get out of here. It is so weird looking at things in the game that aren't like monsters. This is like another character. Very strange. Vanquisher medals from that too now, huh? Oh, you know what I never put into the extractinator? I never threw those uh, brackish clumps or whatever in there. What is that? Mahogany Ent? My God, is there a mob down here to find every single item? Like, I, I bet it drops rich mahogany. I bet that's what it is. I got so much stuff down here that I'm coming across. I love this mod so much. It's like every single area that you go is filled to the brim with new things. I love it. I love the exploration in pre-hard mode so much. It's like my favorite part of the game. I've said it a million times. So the fact that this mod adds so much stuff, I love it. Like, it doesn't even bother me that, like, a lot of the mobs just exist down here just to be, like, extra filler content. I just enjoy the experience. So far, so good, though. I have not come across a beehive just yet. I'm surprised. Normally, those things are slapping me in the face as soon as I walk through the door. I got these little ones right here, but I can't find the hives. There's another hag. It's a very hostile biome. Let's hit him with the scuba curve up. Ready for the... Toots completed, enemy health depleted. Sorry, I get a little silly every now and again. Uh, it kind of looks like there's a little bit of honey over this a ways. Might head over here, and that looks kind of promising. Grab all the good stuff down here, because why not? Could always use a little bit more gold. Make sure I got my mining charm on here. Always good to have a little bit of extra speed when it comes to destroying natural resources. Okay, so it turns out that it was just a pile of honey. Is it just me, or are those not in any way indicative of a hive being nearby? Because I'm very sure that that has nothing to do with it. It's just like a little bit of extra decorative that you can find on the ground every once in a while. Oh god, I'm out of torches. I'm being attacked as well. God, I'm running into the thorns. I'm being attacked by the bees. I'm out of torches. What do I do? 
I mean, it's alright if I don't come across a beehive, though. I did get a lot of stuff from down here, so I'm definitely gonna be heading back to base. I gotta upgrade my healing potions here. Gotta go back there and get some of that spring water. Because I just noticed that I'm still using the little dinky 50 health stuff here, and I'm not really content with that. Not an acceptable thing for me to be doing here. That's not going to make it. I get hit way too many times for way too much damage to be able to run around and only healing for 50 every minute. Ah, God, Hornet, get away from me. Back off. Don't make me hit you with the toots. Ah, ant. Nope. And I got sniped. It almost looked like I lagged a little bit there, too. The army ant bounced me up in the air for the hornet to shoot me in the face with a stinger. Now, that's what I call a symbiotic relationship. Anyways, whatever, that's fine. We'll just deposit all this stuff in here. I'm probably pretty sure I can make some new stuff out of this. Actually, with that anklet, can I upgrade my boots? Well, let me see. Yes, I can. I got my lightning boots, and then all I'm gonna need now is some ice skates. Am I able to do that? Actually, you know what? The cobbler is right over here to the right. I moved him over. Let me see if he sells ice skates just by chance. I don't think he does, but I'm, I'm I'm a little curious. Where did I put him? Oh, uh, he's all the way over here, isn't he? Yep, he's right above the diver, man. Hey, Barney, how's it going? Any ice skates? You got a lot of shoes. I'll tell you that. They're all a material for something. You sell me an aglet. I mean, that's nice. No ice skates, though? You're in the ice biome. You're good at shoes, but I don't have any, any ice skates. That's a little silly. Well, all right then, fine. I guess I'm gonna have to go looking for him. I'm gonna have to go get him the hard way. What about you, Robert? Anything from you? Does anybody have anything that I can use? I know you don't. You're entirely worthless. Uh, no, no, it doesn't really look like anybody's really got anything here. What about you, Pustule? You got anything for me? No? That's about it. A bent zombie arm. That's about it. What about you, Antoine? I don't suppose you sell ice skates. Lots of food. That's about it. All right, fine. Yeah, I guess that's going to have to... Uh, that's going to be it. We're going to have to go back and get him the hard way. I didn't really do all that much exploring in the ice biome, so it's no wonder I haven't found it yet. I'll go back there and try to find it off camera sometime. Alrighty, let's go down the line here and see if there's anything new for me. I know I got the bell already, that little, uh, this one right here, the blooming bell. So I think that looks like that's it for the, uh, extra jungle stuff from that. Tools, everything looks the same here. Armor sets, there's the jungle set. As always, let's move on down here. There's the blooming set. However, that is a healer set, so it's entirely useless to me. Ooh, there's a new, uh... New item here. Okay. There's a blooming shield. That's a little bit better. Give me some life recovery. Up to five over time. Interesting. We got the kick pedal. Percussion damage is a 25% chance to activate a panic pedal, which orbits around the player. Allies that touch an activated pedal will gain a massive speed boost. Enemies take damage. Well, that could be interesting. Percussion, huh? Does a bell count as percussion? I got the steel drum, but that's uh, a little bit trickier to use. Unless there's something else that I can go buy, it looks like the, I'm kind of stuck with it. I want to use it, though, because it sounds kind of interesting. Well, maybe I'll grab it. Why not? I'll grab it, and you know what? I'll give the steel drum a try. It is kind of cool. Yeah, not bad. I'm kind of getting the hang of it there. It's a lot of focus, so we'll see if I can actually manage it. I might be good with what I've got right now, though, but whatever. Uh, let's make a bunch of healing potions. i still got lots of mushrooms left. And we will make that all into some spring water. Okay, 15 of that. I'll save that for boss fights, and I'll just bring this stuff with me now. There we go. We'll upgrade our little healing game right there, and we're good to go. Uh, probably not going to use the didgeridoo anymore and put that back. I want to keep them because of the effects, you know what I'm saying? That's what I want them for. All right, let's see. Anything else special at all whatsoever? Anything standing out here? Anything at all? Looks like everything's pretty normal, as normal can get anyways. Well, with all that taken care of, let me grab a few more life crystals. They're not life crystals, heart crystals here. Grab some potions, then we'll head back over to the jungle and see if I can find a beehive. Definitely gonna want that. So when I've got all the necessary items rounded up and I head on over there and actually find a beehive, I will see you then. Oh, of course it is. Well, guys, everybody get ready. We're gonna be holding down the fort now. This is just what I needed. And they've even broken through my penguin defenses. That is just sickening. All right, fine. I guess we're gonna deal with a blood moon first, and then we're gonna go and deal with the queen bee. Hive mind. Interesting. Okay, so I have the power to place brain. Nearby minion attacks might confuse enemies. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Uh, neat. Also, the bell does count as a percussion instrument. So you know what? I can use that pedal thing, and it works out. It's just really, really hard to use because it only, like, works on enemies on the ground, pretty much, since it doesn't, like... They don't, they don't float, and they don't stick the platforms. So far, not so good, I gotta say. Anyways, back to the suffering. Hey, well, at least the Blood Moon's finally over. That's good, and that should make things moderately less painful. I still have yet to come across anything, though, so the search continues. We press on here. What is that? Oh, Mahogany End. 
had me a little bit worried there. I thought it was something that might actually be threatening. Actually, if I remember correctly, there was a mini-boss over here. I just haven't seen him yet, or her, or whatever that thing is supposed to be. Generally, the plant monsters in Terraria tend to be female. I say plant monsters like there's more than one. What is that? Oh. Weird. That's water. I thought that was like some kind of like rare mob or something floating around up there. No, it turns out it's just, uh, it's just a bug. And I know there's a lot of bugs in the jungle, but that's the first one I've seen that doesn't make any sense. Look at that. Look at this. W what even is this? What is this right here? And it does it again. That is so strange. Physics, you're broke. Get yourself looked at. You need some help. Hey, look. There is actually a beehive right above the granite biome here. You know what? That is like two birds with one stone if ever I've seen one. Because I'm pretty sure there is a boss for the granite biome. In this place down here, this could make a just fine arena for the queen bee. So you know what? I'm totally content with that. This is where we will build our arena. I know there's a lot of items that I still need to grab. So you know what? I am going to do a little bit of building and a little bit of searching. I'm going to try to find some stuff here. Get some of the jungle drops. If there's anything new, of course, I'll leave it in the video. But I'm going to remove all of this junk right here. This is a very big beehive as well, so maybe I could use that too. Flood the entire lower area with all the, uh, all the honey. But anyways, I'm going to build an area down here to fight the boss in. Nice big arena. We'll probably use this again for the uh, granite energy storm whenever I finally get around to doing that. And when we come back, there will be some serious bug whacking. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present you the arena. Oh, there we go. I don't really know if that's as good of a transition as the one I did way back in the way of Fargo's, but you know what? I think it was pretty good. It's been a while since I've done something like that, so I've got a nice basic arena here built up. I did kind of have a little bit of an accidental, uh... So that's why this part of the hive is missing. Um, I was going to get rid of this as well, but you know what? We'll just do that right now. You see, all the bees right here would normally be a serious problem for me, but I do have the power of the... And I find that incredibly satisfying to do. Be honest with me, that was pretty cool. I have a little platform built up down here as well, right above the uh, honey line. This might screw it up, though. I hope not. Probably should have uh, built that little barrier down there after I got rid of all the honey. But whatever, it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that later. That's not an issue for right now. I live in the present, okay? That's in the future. Move this stuff out of the way. The old larvae is all the way up there. I've got all my potions set up. There is some new stuff that I can actually make from the queen bee with honey, I discovered. So there's that to deal with eventually. But for right now, it is time to go up there and deal with the queen bee. I think I've got all my potions. We're good to go. I'm going to throw up my spring water here. We're going to use that instead. Uh, make sure I got my damaged stuff on right now. Put my mining potions away. We should be good to go. When I go back down there, it's going to be filled to the brim with mobs. I know it will be. Whatever. I like to live dangerously. Let's go. Okay. Let me uh, let me buff up here. Stop ping-ponging me around. Trying to make some progress here. I'm already half dead. Half dead and I'm out of inspiration. It's not a good start here. It's all right. I can deal with things. I just got to get her to line back up with me a little bit here. And there's a worm coming. That's just what I need. All right. Let's hit him with the old magic staff. There we go. Got the debuffs going. And the scuba. There we go. Come on. Dash me again. No. Not going to do that. Let's go down here and take out this ant real fast. We will heal up a little bit. We're going to get hit in the face by a worm. This is the sloppiest queen bee fight so far. I got to be honest with you. It's going to get a little rough here. Oh, there we go. That's right. Scuba me. That's what we'll do here. You know what? It's not even a big deal that I get hit in the face by her. I really am not that upset about it. Bounce. I thought that would work. Come on. The dash is failing me right now. Should be doing better. There we go. Come on. Let's get it going here. Heal up a little bit. There we go. Hit her with the toots. Hit her with the toots. It's really not doing all that much damage. I'd probably be better off just hitting her with my Git Fiddler. All right, come on now. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid to stand right in front of me and let me hit you. No shame in that. No shame in dying like that. I gotta say, that worm is really starting to get on my nerves. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a lot better whenever I do it that way. If I time it just right, it works perfectly. If I'm good at the game, then my strategy works very efficiently. Oh my god, where is that worm? Where is it at? Come here. There it is. Get back here. There you go. And we're back to tooting again. There we go. Take her right on down. Just like that. Not a problem. Get the bees all lined up with me. Come on. Come on. Line back up with me here. I'm only hitting you once every so often. There we go. I should be able to stand underneath. You know what? This is much more effective than the scuba. It is a lot less fun, but it is much more effective. Reminds me of fighting her as a mage and just standing under her and unloading with a magic weapon. Letting her bees 
Do all the healing for me. Give me my mana back. I'll save the scuba for whenever we charge. Ah, dash. I can't dash fast enough. The cooldown doesn't happen quick enough. Ah, God. Stop it. Oh, now you've signed your own death warrant right now. Come on. Give me my inspiration. I need to feel inspired enough to kill her. Come on. We're getting low on health. I'm totally fine. I'm not really worried about it. 12 seconds left. She's rapid firing with that, but I'm not worried about it. Here we go. Invincibility frames and some extra damage, and down she goes. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Queen Bee. Let's see what we got. Hive pack, standard, nectar, very nice. Beekeeper, godly. I used to love this weapon. Um, Shadow diamond, same old, same old. Good stuff for magic storage. And bee wax. Let's see what we got here. And there is some of the new stuff that I can make. Um, let me get rid of that real fast here. So the bee set and the hornet staff are standard. I could make a honey recorder out of 12 bee wax and 6 honey blocks. Let's actually uh, disappear on back out of here before I get murdered by the scary bugs. Anyways, we got the honey recorder. It releases a harmless but sickeningly sweet toot of sound that covers an enemy in honey. Right click to summon bees that damage and seek out the nearest enemy covered in honey. So I could put on the hive pack and get a little bit of extra damage from that. Then we got the waxy rosin. Interesting, whatever that is. Piercing string instrument attacks will lose 15% damage per hit. Piercing string instrument attacks will increase in speed every hit. So I guess that means that my wood loot here and my dynasty goozang is actually going to be doing a little bit less damage, but they'll be attacking a lot faster over time. And then we got the honeysuckle over here that just uh, is a healer item, so we don't really care very much about that. But anyways, let's throw this stuff all in there. Deposit all that good stuff. We'll put it back. And where is that honey weapon at? I know it's in... Actually, you know what? I put it all in here. Let's loot it all back up and we'll put it away. All right, let's see what else we got down here. Oh, that's new. Okay, so there's a few new items right here. The pan flute. I didn't even see that. A warbling wave of sound. Resource consumption. Consumption. My God. What even are words anyway? I just make my own up sometimes. I just, just you know what? Whatever. We're not even going to discuss it anymore. Pan flute. Consumption chance two. That goes through resources very quickly. That's very cool. Kind of like a bard's version of a razor pine. I like it. And the honey recorder. There we go. That is pretty cool. Inspiring. So it's pretty much like the Icy Piccolo. It's just uh, sweeter, honeyer. wonder what this stuff costs to reforge. Maybe this is going to be where we uh, turn the tide here and it actually is expensive to do this. All right, Trogum. Don't fail me now. 90 silver. That's really it. Wow. First try. What about you? That was not the first try. But it was not that expensive either. So you know what? I'm fine with it. Totally cool with that. That is ridiculous. Rapid fire machine gun pan flute. That's kind of funny. I love all the bard weapons. I have yet to find a bard weapon that I did not find incredibly amusing. There we go. Got a whole bunch of new items. Took down the queen bee. Got some good stuff from that. Looks like I made everything that I could make here. Everything looks pretty standard. Where did that uh, honey what's it called thing go? Waxy Rosen. Do I not have the ability to make that? What am I missing? Oh, I'm out of bee wax. Okay, I have to go kill her again. That's disgusting to think about. But we might end up doing it eventually anyway. You guys will have to let me know if there's anything else special that comes from her. For right now, I think that we have been recording long enough. So I'm going to call it an episode here. This episode actually might be the first one in forever that isn't like five seconds long. Because a lot of the episodes that I've been putting up lately have been very, very short. And I can guarantee that it'll keep happening. Unless I ramble like I do right now, then this really draws the episode out. But that's what you come here for. You don't come here for progress and skillful gameplay. No, lots of other channels have that. My gimmick is that I ramble. That's what you come here for, the entertainment. Anyways, like I said, I think I've been recording for long enough, so I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.